focus to hit that event. And speaking of focus, the Georgia Gym Dogs always focused in on what their coach, Suzanne Yachlin, has to say. She told us earlier she still believes in her beam team despite some inconsistencies. I still will stay the course with what I believe, and that is that this is the best beam team that Georgia has ever had in 23 years. Uh, from top to bottom, we're 9.9. .9. Uh, we have three or four girls on, in our lineup that could all be national champions on the balance beam. Uh, you will see execution that is so precise and so beautiful and so flawless that uh, even when there's a wobble and a mistake and a low score, you can recognize the execution and the, and the precision in everything that our team does on the balance beam. First meet of the season, Georgia proved their excellence on the beam. They struggled after that, but came back strong and now are on top of their game. Two highlights here, Courtney Cool and Courtney Coupettes in this lineup are Olympians, and Coupettes is the defending national champion on beam. And here for the Georgia Gym Dogs is Tiffany Tolney, her career best, a 9.925 on beam. As we're in the third rotation of this tight meet at Stegman Coliseum. Tiffany's an All-American on this event, showing nice amplitude in her switch side. The judges want to see at least 180 degree split. Comes along with a great beam worker is that they often surpass that 180 degree split. A cancer layout and solid. Suzanne talked about them having a great beam team and a great beam team has the ability to do three things. Front tuck for Tiffany, and that is throw the big difficult skills like those front tucks, do it with consistency, and execute with a high level of precision. The pointed toes, the beautiful extension, the precise landing positions. Just four inches wide is that beam. It's amazing. Combination of leaps, switch leap to a straddle jump. Ready to tumble into her dismount. Two back handsprings to a double back sky high, and she over rotates it two steps on the landing. Couple tenths deduction right there on the landing, but a solid routine throughout. Here's that dismount. It's so difficult when you add the tumbling before the double salto, which, by the way, is an E level skill, the most difficult dismount that you can do in collegiate gymnastics. That's an upgrade from the junior Olympic level. Still, she turns out with a 9.7. Tiffany Tolne for Florida. Here's what they have coming up on floor. Katie Rue and Savannah Evans. Savannah Evans, a senior for the Gators. And you know the Gators are well known for that Gator Chomp in their floor team. It'll be interesting to see whether or not they keep those Gator Chomps in these routines considering they are competing in Bulldog country right now. And so experienced in the floor exercise. She finished 10th in the NCAA in the floor exercise last year. Savannah Evans, Lori. Savannah is well known for her smile and her powerful tumbling. And we'll see that with her opening pass here. A strong front tumbler opens with a double front. The only athlete in this competition to perform that skill. How difficult is it to perform in front of the opposing home team audience, Lori? It's always difficult to come into someone else's house, especially when you're a Gator competing in Stegman Coliseum in front of a Georgia crowd. But you know, that's what's exciting about collegiate gymnastics. These athletes, and they'll tell you, they absolutely love competing at home and away in front of these huge crowds. You can see it in her face. She's all smiled, Savannah Evans. Now, Savannah has officially retired her Cotton Eye Joe routine that everyone remembers over the past couple years. This is a new routine that she's debuting in her senior year. A little bit more of a mature look. Music will slow down here a little bit, give Savannah a chance to catch her breath before her final tumbling pass. The routine is up to 90 seconds long, and it is go, go, go. This final tumbling pass is so difficult in terms of endurance, and it's a big one, double back. Beautiful height, great routine. Georgia opens the door just slightly with steps on the landing from Tolne, and Savannah comes back strong with this powerful tumbling and a brand new floor routine, opening with that double front pass clean into the lunge. 
So she gets a 9.825 for her Florida Gators on the road. Next on beam for the Georgia Gym Dogs, Courtney McCool. You see she won a silver medal in the Athens Games of 2004. Such an amazing athlete. That skill right there, the mount, is called the McCool. It's named after her. When a gymnast gets a move named after her if she is the first one to compete it at a World Championships or an Olympic Games, it's submitted to the Federation of International Gymnastics. They okay it, and they actually put it into the code of points. We can tell the audience that there is a Lori Hop, can't we? <laughs> <laughs> if you must. Now, Courtney had two surgeries on her wrist and did not compete for two and a half years. She's back into competition now, really enjoying her role on this Georgia team. Just a slight wobble there, but using her experience to work through it. Courtney's very well known for her beautiful legs and toe point. She has a quality that not many athletes have, especially on this event. She can be absolutely brilliant. Here comes the dismount, round off, double twist, legs are glued together, just a tiny step on the landing. But that's the execution and the precision that Suzanne was talking about. This is such a high level of precision. Beautiful toe point in the front aerial, right into a sheep jump there. The judges want to see those feet at the height of the head, at the peak of the jump. Certainly an athlete that Coach Jacqueline can look to for the future of the Georgia Gym Dogs, a 9.825 as we are in the third rotation here at Stegman Coliseum. Now we move on to the Florida Gators and Amanda Castillo in the floor routine. You're gonna see some of that fiery personality come out in her choreography here. Full in back out in a pike position, barely ran into that, and that just tells you what kind of power and quickness this athlete has. What I've been impressed with is that she hasn't been phased by this crowd here. It is a huge crowd. It is so loud in here. But Amanda standing on the sidelines throughout this entire competition, dancing and having a great time. And just a freshman with such composure. It's remarkable to see, Lori. Fantastic choice of music. Really accents her personality. She's got that spunk. Just four foot ten, Lori, it's amazing. She's larger than life out there. Amanda was the 2004 and 05 level 10 national floor champion. She scored a 9-9 last meet against Alabama. Obviously, she gets up for those big time competition. And this is just that, the top two ranked teams in the nation coming in. Finishing up with a double pike, solid landing. A great routine, a fun routine, and we have to notice, no gator chomp in there. There was no gator chomp in Savannah's routine as well. Very interesting. One more look at the gator freshman from Sanford, Florida. In her middle tumbling pass, she shows two 